What's going on guys and welcome to the FIFA 17 Arsenal career mode. It's finally release day here in the UK. I thought I better got to get on with it. Got to get on with it. Right, manager career. But first things first, fuck you Mourinho. I'm definitely taking the 60%. Definitely taking the 60%. There's no two ways about it. Okay, so we're obviously going to go with Arsenal. 77 million to spend. Considering we spent... Around 90 million already this summer. I didn't think. I know plus the 60% makes a big difference, but still. 77. Lovely jubbly. Continental success one. Critical. We can't get out of fucking round of 16. That critical. I'm going to get my ass sacked. They don't fucking give you much options, do they? All these white people. I'm mixed race. Two black guys and one Chinese guy. <laughs> going to have to go with a bald guy, innit? Going to have to go with a bald guy. Let's do it. As always, we will be starting on Legendary, and we'll only be playing on Legendary. If it goes tits up, it goes tits up. I'll just delete the video off the internet, it doesn't matter. We do want to be in the Champions League in our first season. Who are we going to get? Be kind to us. Not Barcelona, not Real Madrid. Juventus, Mönchengladbach, and Monaco. I'll take that, I'll take that all day. Six minute halves, Legendary, let's fucking get on with it. 39 million for Mkhitaryan. That looks like a fucking waste of money, doesn't it? That's the kind of signing I like. Skudran Mustafi, 31 million. He looks like a rock at the back with Koscielny. I love it. Here we go straight in with the invites to pre-season tournaments to get a little bit more transfer money. I don't know if I'm going to buy anyone yet. That's the thing. I don't know whether to stick with the squad we got now and if we have to invest, which we probably will, let's be fair, to do it in January or just fucking go and buy a striker now. I don't know what to do. Right, here we go. We could potentially get an extra 10 milli. I'm going to be simulating this because I just, just want to get into the league. I don't want to fuck around doing this. I want to get into the league, but I don't want to play Barcelona. So we go on this one in Japan. These are the guys they think would be decent for us. Well, Benikafobe, we sold him. So will we buy him back? I doubt it highly. Michi Batshuayi has just moved to Chelsea, so that's off the cards. Sorry, someone. Sorry, this scout is a, a fucking dickhead, obviously. John Terry? Fuck no. For fuck's sake. I mean, reach the Champions League final. We've only done it fucking once in our history and we didn't win. So how the fuck am I meant to come in here and do it? Win the FA Cup. And so obviously, they don't want much to happen this season. They only want the treble. Fucking hell. Short term, they want to sign two players with a potential of over 75 for our youth squad. So that, eh, that's easily doable. They actually have shirt sales now in brand exposure. They want 127 million to be bought back from shirt sales alone. Within two seasons, increase the club's worth by 10%. Uh, I might not even see out this season. They want the fucking treble to start with. So here's the message about shirt sales. This is obviously a new thing in FIFA 17 career mode. It wasn't here last year. Like I said, they want 127 million back. Keep in mind that bringing in popular, high-profile players along with good performances, those type of things equate to shirt sales. So, we want goals, basically. We want Alexis to score. We want Granite to score. Ozil scoring. Theo scoring. Theo Walcott, who is fucking turning into a madman, slagging him off last season for his effort level. He come back like the enemy from a Terminator Judgment Day. You know, Terminator 2, that fucking, the way that geezer is getting around like that. Okay, so this is the starting eleven. The new boy Xhaka starts in there with Kazola. I put Gibbs left back because I prefer him on these games to, to Monreal. He's a bit faster and he's English. I like having Gibbs in there. He's one of my favourite players at Arsenal. We're going to try to start with Giroud up front. But I don't know whether I should just drop 70 million on a striker now. I don't know what I should do. And looking at the subs and the reserves, I mean, we have a lot of depth now. We have a lot of depth. So I think I might sell a couple players. Maybe put a few out on loan. I mean, Mertesacker, he, he could be sold because Holding is showing a lot of potential in real life already. And Mertesacker on this game, what's his pace? A grand total of a 28 pace. I actually think my Nan, who's had two hip replacements, may be able to outrun this man. Jenko coming back off loan. I mean, Debushi, he can be sold. So we can easily equate another maybe 20 million. Uh, players like Zelalem, Ren Adelaide, Maitland-Niles, I'll probably put out on loan. With Chris Willock as well. 
I think I'll keep Chuba and I'll keep Awobi and hopefully improve them with the training. And uh, apart from that, I think uh, Sonogo pro probably fuck him off as well. He, he, he can go. And Laurent Koscielny is going to be our captain. Don't care. Laurent Koscielny, you're a geezer. One of the best centre-backs in the Premier League. One of the best centre-backs in the world. On current form, maybe the best centre-back in the Premier League. Company's injured. I don't know what's happened to Company. I haven't fucking seen him for ages. Name a better centre-back in the Premier League than Laurent Koscielny. And I don't want to hear fucking Alderweireld or fucking Vertonghen. Fuck her off with your Tottenham shit. It's mad. When you look at the players, we go out on loan as well. Next season, we have Wojciech Szczesny to come back. Jack Wilshere to come back. Joel Campbell. Callum Chambers. Our new boy Asano couldn't even get a fucking work permit. Fucking hell, look at Asano's speed there. 91 speed. Not bad at all. Hopefully that little one-year loan, he might progress into like the, the mid-70s. That would be nice to bring him back in and he's progressed on quite a bit. That would be quite cool. And I just want to send a message to whoever the fuck ranks the players at EA. Hector Bellerin. At the moment, in the Premier League, who would anyone have over Hector Bellerin at the moment? 79 overall. Bushi who can't even get on the fucking bench for us at the moment, 80 overall. I'll just let that, let that sink in with you lot. Whoever fucking worked out should be sacked. They obviously don't, don't watch football, don't know fuck all about football. EA sort it out. It's bollocks. Here we go. We're going to scout a striker. What do we want? We want a world-class striker that's prolific. That, that is all we want. A world-class prolific striker. We'll just say between the ages of 18 and we don't want him old... So maybe like 27. I think that's a good age. Let's see what they come back with. Jesus Christ. I just looked at our budget. It must have been 77 million before it added the 60%. Because we got 120 milli to drop. We can get anyone we fucking want. I'm bidding for Neymar and all sorts. Okay, well Neymar is worth a 92 and a half million. So probably going to have to drop about 200 million to get him. Uh, I'll wait to next season for you, Neymar. Off the top of my head, a striker that would fit him well at Arsenal. We was li linked with him all summer. Made an embarrassing bid. Got rejected. I think Lacazette. If we're going to buy one, I think it might be Lacazette. So I think we'll inquire about him. See how much they want. He's definitely going to be in our price range. We could definitely afford it. Pretty much any striker we want, I think, at this point. We'll look at Benzema and Lewandowski just to see how much they're worth. Okay, so Benzema is worth just under 40 million, so we can inquire about him too. And if we are going to sign one, it's going to be between the two L's, Lacazette and Lewandowski. I mean, look at this guy's stats. Look at the stats on this man. He's worth 60 million, so I think they would want more than 100 million for him. But that's to be expected. He's one of the best strikers in the world. Okay, so Leon come back, 69 million for Lacazette. We probably get him for a lot less than that. So that is is is, is really affordable. But at the same time, I, I, I don't know if I should just try to go with Giroud. Try to get to January, see how it's going. Then drop the big dough. Then drop the big dough. Zebra ain't for sale at any price. And I doubt, yep, Lewandowski exactly the same. So if we're going to get a striker, it will be Lacazette. But I think we will hold out until January. And just try to get through, see how it goes. Okay, first game. Like I said, simming it. Not interested in playing any of this. I just want to get into the real stuff. Come on in, boys. Show me that you can hang with the big boys of Real Madrid. Show me that you've got bollocks. You've got bollocks, boys. You've got bollocks. 2-0. Lovely. Okay, here we go. We have had an offer from the League Champions Leicester. That will never, ever be a sentence that sounds right to me. But they did it. Fair play to them. 7 million. They've made a bid. Eurasia, we want 12. If they can get us to around 10, I'll accept it. And Debushi can fucking pack his bags and roll out. Okay, when it comes to training, these are going to be the five guys that I'm pretty much going to do every week because they're the ones with the most potential. If anything does change, I'll let you know, but there's no point in me including it in there. These are the guys that's going to be training. Show me some results, boys. Show me that you want it. Show me that you want to be a success at Arsenal. These across the board, apart from Hector. I want to see C and over. C and over. If this was GTSEs, you would have fouled four of you. But Hector, geezer, you passed, son. You passed. Oh, God. Look, someone's already trying to come in and take Alexis from us. Let me guess who it is. I'm not looking. Juventus. Man City. You know what you can do? Fuck right off. I love you, Pep Guardiola. you got City playing some beautiful football. But you're not coming over here and taking Alexis from us. Can stick that fucking up right up your arse, son. Right, here we go. Second friendly comes up against Yokohama. 
basically rotated the whole 11 because Yokohama, if we can't beat these, I'm going to be disappointed. Show me something, Perez. Show me something, Rambo. Show me something, Ox. Show me something! Ox has showed me that he's fucking back to normal, getting injured. Six minutes. Six minutes into his first appearance of preseason, he's fucking injured. Pulled quad out for two weeks. Fuck's sake. Leicester have come back and been cheap little bastards. Didn't even make another counter offer. 12 million. They could have fucking spent 12 million on the Bushi. I should have just accepted the fucking seven, shouldn't I? Right, here we go. Third friendly comes up against Paris Saint-Germain. Played against him in real life a couple weeks ago. Was getting battered, but still pulled off the one point. I think, are we pretty much through here? I think we're pretty much through. I think it's the top two. But we're going to simulate. Beat Real Madrid 2-0. First 11. What can you do? 3-2-1. Bang. Giroud injured and a 2-1 loss. Fuck sake. There's been bids for Welbs. Ooh. Inter Milan have come in for Welbsy. He's going to be our second striker. He's English. I'm a fan of his work rate. He gives a lot for the team. He's versatile. He can play on the wings as well as up front. 18.5 million. Why do they want him for? They got Mario Icardi. Uh, we're rejecting that because I like Welbsy as a geezer. There we go. Olivier Giroud. I'm not feeling up to it. You have a fucking bruised rib, bruv. Get on with it. See, that already makes me want to buy a new striker. Being a pussy -o. So Semi-final, simulate, 2-0, job done, Mesut Ozil injured. Are you fucking joking me? It's pre-season. Are they going around just bodying all our players? An extra three and a half million to the budget, we're doing well. We've had an offer for both right-backs, Bellerin and Debouche. Bellerin, you ain't fucking going nowhere. You're staying here for the, the whole career. You're going nowhere. Give me ten. Just give me 10 million and you can have him. You can have him. 10 milli. Come back to me with 10. And here we go. The final comes up against a team we just lost against. Paris Saint-Germain. Can we secure some more dollars? Can we do it? Come on, lads. I want to win. We... Is that the win? Is that it? That's all, that... That's all of the highlights happened in that game. A yellow card, two subs and a goal. Perez. Geezer. The ball are happy with me. Extra 4.2 million. And Palace are being fucking cheap. Don't act like you won't pay 10 million. Give me 9 then. Give me 9. Just give me 9. I don't even have to sell him. I've got so much money. I don't have to sell him. Give me what I want or you can fuck right off Palace. Here are a few other strikers that the scout has come back and said would be a prolific world class signing. We have Dybala, Griezmann and Lukaku. Gabbiadini. Some good, there's some good players here. Some good players. Marrow, the boy Marrow. Marrow Cardi's fucking gone to Chelsea. That's why Inter tried to buy Welbsy. How many strikers do they, do they want? They just bought Batshuayi. They got Diego Costa. Now they got Marrow in. Fucking hell. Oh my god. They're just so cheap. 8.5 then. Give me 8.5, you stingy fucks. Oh my god. They went up to 7.5. I said, give me 8.5. I dropped it all the way down. Originally, I wanted 12 from the first team that bid for him. They don't believe he's worth it. You don't believe the is worth 8.5 million? His France is, what, number two right back? I know he didn't make the Euro squad because he didn't kick a ball for us. But still, behind Bakary Sanya, he's right there. Ainsley Maitland-Niles. Barnett want you on a one-year loan. I'm more than happy to let you go on loan, son. Liverpool's coming with a 20 mil bid for the cock. No chance. He's threatened. There's no reason to be threatened. You're going to be playing a lot of games this season, Francis. You ain't going nowhere, son. Right, that is going to be it for episode one of the FIFA 17 Arsenal career mode. We kick off our season next episode at home against Liverpool. So make sure you subscribe to keep up to date. Like if you did enjoy and you're looking forward to this. And hopefully I will see you on the next video. Peace.